Greetings Vision Link users and welcome to this unified suite tutorial, General Navigation and Icons. This tutorial is intended to help you navigate Unified Fleet more fluently. Beginning on the top left, these three bars or the hamburger icon present additional navigation to the fleet, utilization, and asset operation pages. You can also access those pages via the blue navigation bars and there are hover overs for the icons. Moving to the icons on the top right, starting with the magnifying glass, we have Search. The search is predictive with Unified Fleet, so as you type your value, any data has a value beginning, containing, or ending with what you typed in will be displayed and you can select it from the list. Unlike Vision Link Legacy, the back button now works in Unified Fleet to return you to your previous page. This triangle icon with the exclamation point is the notifications icon. I currently have 14 notifications. I can click the notifications icon to show a list of notifications with the most recent on top. From here, I can resolve or delete notifications or I can navigate to the Manage Notifications or the See All Notifications pages. The Application Launcher is where I launch other Vision Link applications or other tabs of Vision Link Unified Fleet. The User icon contains my account selection if I happen to have multiple accounts. My preferences where I can set language, units, and date preferences and also manage reports. You can also log out here. Moving down the page, these three dots are the actions bar. The actions bar for each page in each widget are very important as you can do several things such as generate reports or edit widgets. You also have the ability to view individual widgets actions bar. Viewing from the fleet page here, the actions bar can be used to access my settings where I can define my columns and also where I can create notifications or reports. For my map view, my actions bar is used for my map settings where you can show or hide geofences, cluster color indicators, and what is viewed. Next to my actions bar on my fleet page is my global filter. Here I can set one or multiple filters to filter my data. These filters will persist across the other pages. So from fleet, if I go to utilization, it will keep that filter applied to those selected assets. Any page that is date range sensitive, such as utilization, will also have a date range icon. This is where I can set my date range for viewing or creating a report. To enter a custom date range, you must click Custom first and only then you can go in the calendar to select your custom date range. The Refine button next to the Date Range button is simply used to quickly refine or clear your filters. On our bottom left is our help icon. Here, you can access Getting Started, which will also give you access to additional tutorial videos to learn Vision Link Unified Fleet. Vision Link Unified Suite General Navigation and Icons, thank you very much.